Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Tuesday, live here from the Wildcat Sanctuary. I see Andre from right to left. That is Denoma in the middle and Mr. Noah, the cougar, here on the far left. Uh, three of the five comprising the infamous Five Wild. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding, of course not infamous. Our famous Five Wild uh, surrogate family of wild-born cougars who call the Wildcat Sanctuary their forever home. Great to see uh, some people rolling in here. Leanne, hey, thanks for joining us. Fernando, welcome. Linda Osman, hello to you. Hey, Pam, thanks for joining us. Happy Tuesday. Hello, Lauren Lynn. I uh, sure hope that some of you have taken a look at some of the items that we have listed in our spring auction. That just went live today. I'll talk a little bit more about that as the, fo as the uh, live post gets rolling. Hey, Scott. Nadia, thanks for joining. Hey, Kathy. Victoria from Worcester, Massachusetts. Hey, Victoria. Hope everybody's doing well. The Five Wild are certainly enjoying this beautiful afternoon. You can hear a little bit of that construction that we uh, debuted on a live post last week. Uh, kind of what we've dubbed the special habitats. We're not sure if it'll be used for some of our geriatric residents, if it will be used for potential mergers, um, to be determined. But nonetheless, uh, construction season here at the Wildcat Sanctuary and all to uh, make life better for our Wildcat residents. Look at Andre getting cozy. Hey, Roger from Michigan. Good afternoon, Bridget. And she says, oh, auction, question mark. That means that I haven't done my job well enough. Uh, today would be the launch of our spring auction, lasting uh, today through, uh, that wouldn't be actually through Friday, ending at noon, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time on Friday. And uh, boy, oh boy, if you haven't seen from yourself, there are all types of wildcat keepsakes. Uh, listed in this year's auction. Anything from paw castings to uh, memorials that are honoring some of our late cats. We have ex in-person experiences that you can bid on. Things like our photo safari or maybe uh, just a play day at the sanctuary with Dash. Um, speaking of Dash, boy oh boy, is there lots of Dash trinkets for you to uh, for you to place your winning bid on. Let's see here, artwork, holy cow, there is some beautiful artwork depicting some of our Wildcat residents um, done by some of our um, awesome supporters. I know Casey, who we see a lot here on our Facebook page, she uh, submitted a handful of uh, her beautiful paintings that I'm looking forward to even placing a bid on. And uh, you name it, there's all types of items uh, um, of uh, from your favorite Wildcats, be it a podcasting, be it a a memorial, but be it, be it a uh, artistic or an uh, artistic rendition, uh, all types of options, and uh, know that all those proceeds are going right back here to the cats. So it's something you can do that's special for yourself, and you're even doing something special for the cats in the process. Hey, Rachel from California. Hi, Cougars, says someone else. That is Mr. Denoma in the middle, and uh, Andre on the right, and Noah on the left. Three of the five wild. Uh, Bernie is uh, mentioning officials are still looking for the Houston Tiger. Man who drove away with them has been arrested. Uh, that was kind of sweeping the news cycle yesterday. I'm sure many of you saw. We actually shared on our page as well. Um, but that would have been Sunday evening, a tiger cub uh, was spawned gallivanting around a Houston neighborhood. This tiger cub was collared and was considered a quote-unquote pet. Uh, authorities arrived on, by the time they had arrived on the scene, the individual uh, with the tiger had driven away and was yet to be located. But fortunately, they did locate the man. Unfortunately, they have not located the tiger. Um, the Wildcat Sanctuary did reach out to the proper authorities to let them know that uh, we would be here to offer a uh, compassionate forever home to that cat um, if, uh, if those uh, means were necessary. And so just know that the Wildcat Sanctuary did reach out and uh, events like this just only underscore how important it is to get this federal legislation passed, the Big Cat Public Safety Act. Um, you know, not only is this a 
Um, you know, are the cats involved in, in grave danger? But it's a public safety issue. This was a, this was a tiger walking around a neighborhood, a suburban neighborhood in Texas. Um, and if, uh, you know, if that doesn't really impress upon the fact that big cats do not make pets and uh, they can be right there in your neighborhood and the, and the next, you know, your next door neighbor could have a big cat. Uh, it uh, really, once again, just impresses how, uh, how important this Big Cat Public Safety Act is and um, how it needs to pass. And we're looking forward to uh, progress being made. It was just reintroduced into the House this spring, and we're looking forward to it moving on and through the Senate. You resituating, Mr. Denoma? Are you resituating? Happy to have everyone here. We were just talking a little bit about the incident that occurred in Texas the other day, and uh, also was mentioning how uh, awesome our spring auction is that just launched today, which will be running through, uh, excuse me, I keep on saying through, that'll be ending at Friday at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. And uh, you'll have to see for yourself. I'll be sure to put the link in the description once we've wrapped up the live post, but. There are all types of wildcat keepsakes that you'll be able to call your own with your winning bid. I uh, mentioned a few earlier, we have all types of artwork. We have paw castings, we have paw prints, we have photos, uh, and then lots of dash trinkets. Uh, some really special and unique items, truly one of a kind items um, of Tiger Cub Dash that you'd be able to place your bid on. Now these two look pretty content. I'm kind of glancing around here to maybe see if uh, there's another, I see a couple of members of the Tiger Trio taking a nap. Maybe we'll go over there. This has been a, a lazy live post with some lazy cats, isn't it? <laughs> Let's look at a few more comments before I get moving. I appreciate everyone uh, and their encouraging words about that Tiger finding a, a, a proper forever home. We surely... We surely hope it does, if, uh, if not at our sanctuary, at another accredited facility. I see someone's asking, are there any pieces of uh, scratched up wood cats and of scratched up wood by the cats in the auction? The answer to that is Y-E-S. Yes, there is. Uh, I believe there is a frame, a scratch frame, as well as this really cool uh, uh, a candle holder made out of a uh, old perch from Simon and Jeremy. And that also comes with a photo of Simon and Jeremy. But uh, have no fear, if you haven't uh, found the auction link, it is on our Facebook page, we posted it earlier, but you can stand by, I'll be updating the description after we finish this live post with a link to the spring auction. And I'm looking across the way here at the Wildcat Sanctuary and I'm seeing nothing but cats napping and enjoying this beautiful weather. It's about 60 something degrees, a little bit of a breeze, it's about as an ideal uh, kind of spring or early summer day as you can ask for. I can't tell who's who. I think that's Griffin on the top and Zeke napping on this lower level here. Hey, Wendy, thanks for joining us. Michelle Moore, thank you for your comment. I think these people are wonderful. Very much appreciated. Julie Robbins saying that that cougar looks so relaxed. You're right about that, Julie. We wouldn't have it any other way. We want all of our residents to be happy and content. And, um, you know, that's just where the individualized and specialized care really comes into play is that, you know, one thing that makes one cat happy might not make another cat happy. And that's, uh, of course, something we strive here at the Wildcat Sanctuary is to make all of our residents happy and content. Yep, you're right about that, Wendy. Sleepy kittens. It's that type of day. Almost looks like uh, Griffin sleeping in the trees from this angle. <laughs> Those platforms truly are quite tall. I mean, uh, the top level that Mr. Griffin is on there, that's probably about uh, close to 10 or 11 feet off the ground and uh, really gives our cats a uh, great perspective kind of gaze their free roaming habitat. Obviously they get to uh, see their neighbors from afar. 
um, our, our perches and platforms and all of our habitat amenities are, are uh, always utilized by our residents and that just makes us so happy to see that. What do you think, Mr. Griffin? Is everybody sleeping today? And I think we're gonna keep on with this theme and just walk over to Leo and Monza while I have everyone of uh, our sleeping cats. It's that type of sleepy day, I guess. The cats always make it hard for people like us who maybe are in the middle of our work day and they're uh, just napping, napping away. They make, uh, they make us wanna do it, don't they? Welcome everyone. If you're just joining us, we're trotting around uh, in between Cougar Cove, Wild Woodlands, and uh, that would be, excuse me, Feline Meadows, visiting with some of our residents here at the Wildcat Sanctuary. It's a lazy type of day. Many of our cats have, of course, already gotten their delicious and nutritious meals, and what's left to do besides, uh, you know, play with their enrichment or enjoy each other's company, that is take a big old cat nap and I can see Leo and Monza over here I'm just gonna go right over here because obviously I don't want to disturb either of these precious kitties there we go we've got to see some sleeping cougars on today's live posts we got to see some sleeping lions as well as some sleeping tigers <laughs> but uh, you've heard me say this before I mean just like your domestic cat if you are watching this live post and look over at your domestic cat what is it doing uh, probably taking a big old nap too and you know our cats are just the same they have everything they need they're not stressed out or worried about uh, you know when their next meal is going to come or um, if they you know don't have proper shelter or whatever have you our cats are provided everything and so I think it's just a you know, really a testament as to how peaceful their life truly is, is just when you see them napping and relaxing like this without a care in the world. Looking through some more comments. Nadia says the wildflowers are coming in. You're right about that, Nadia. It is getting very green and very vibrant here around the sanctuary. Uh, caretakers have already been mowing lawns and have the weed whips out. Uh, really, a, really an indication that summer, summer has arrived. Such positive, uh, such positivity in the comments. Thank you, everyone, for all the compliments that you are uh, giving the, the staff and uh, people at the Wildcat Sanctuary who make all the things that you see on these live posts possible. It's uh, always great to see um, the, uh, the positive energy that the TWS following has. Hey, Amanda Peters says, saw the lions on the dodo. That's correct. I'm sure many of you guys are familiar with the dodo. Um, uh, kind of an online uh, content organization, kind of uh, promoting kindness and wellness of animals. We've been able to go live on their page a handful of times, and uh, just today we were live with uh, Lions Sophie and Kimba over in Pride Prairie, and they were doing a bit of the same, just a couple of lions lounging in their expansive habitat. So it's been uh, really fun being able to be featured on their page of you know, like-minded people, animal-loving people, and uh, reach out to their audience as well. So glad you were over there, Amanda, great to hear. All right, everyone. <laughs> oh, so it looks, I, I was right. Uh, Sharon was saying my ginger cats are uh, snoring away right now too, LOL. Yep, that, uh, that's just how it goes. Our domestic cats, they're either uh, don't want to answer a phone call in the middle of the live post. Um, well, everyone, I think uh, we are going to leave it at that. It's been a very uh, peaceful and relaxing uh, and na uh, cat nap filled live post this afternoon. Um, give you one more reminder 
check out our spring auction. It is officially live. It will be running until this Friday at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. I listed just a small fraction of some of the items that are available um, for you to place a winning bid on. So uh, have no fear. I'll be posting that link right here in the description once I've concluded the live post so you can go and check out those items for yourself and perhaps even place a bid. So thanks again, everyone, for tuning in today. It's been a blast spending some time with the Lions, of course, spending time with you, our awesome supporters, who do uh, so much, so much, so much for our residents here. It's the least we can do to uh, give you a little cat time in return. So thank you, everyone, for joining us today, and uh, we will see you on a live post soon. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs>